This is a tap along video on how to overcome a fear of needles while going through fertility treatments. My name is Naomi Wolfson of Embrace Fertility. If you have not yet used the technique, emotional freedom technique, then please see the notes below this video and watch my introduction video on that technique, which explains what it is, why we do it and how to do it. And then once you've watched that, come back to this video. So EFT is safe for almost anyone to use, but by watching and tapping along with this video, you agree to take full responsibility for your own well-being because I'm sharing this publicly. If you have a phobia of needles, you may want to work directly with an EFT practitioner, either myself or somebody else, who can guide you through. However, if this is a fear of needles, um, you can tap along and hopefully remove that fear. Okay, so a phobia can be where maybe something has happened in the past, you've had a very negative experience with needles, and they're, you're just like completely stumped, you're like, I just can't do this. I definitely recommend reaching out and getting support. Um, but we're going to be tapping through and I'm going to be kind of touching on if your fear of needles comes from an experience you've had in the past. So we are going to cover that as well. Okay, so I'm going to use various different terms to describe needles. So I'm going to use needles, shots, injections, jabs, because I know you're based all over the world. So I'm going to use different language throughout. But if you feel there's a particular phrase that resonates or the opposite of resonate, like the one that just really gets you like, oh, this is the word shots. Well, use that wherever I'm saying the word needles or injections. Insert the word that is the most triggering for you. Um, to be tapping on. Um, so let's just dive straight in. So first off, I want you to tune in when you think about um, having your next shot. Maybe this is for IVF injections. Maybe this is for blood draws. Maybe this is for progesterone. Whatever it is, just tune in with how it feels when you think about having to do those injections. And just scale that on a scale of zero to 10, with zero being you're absolutely fine like what's the problem and 10 being I'm absolutely petrified my body's gone into stress response I've got butterflies in my stomach stomach I feel sick my heartbeat has started going where are you on that scale and just note that down we always score with EFT so we can ensure that what we're doing is actually um moving the needle Lots of puns in here today um, and actually helping you as we go along. So let's start tapping. So even though I hate needles and the idea of injections is freaking me out, I'm choosing to support myself by watching this video. Even though I hate needles and the idea of injections is freaking me out, I'm choosing to support myself by watching this video. Even though I hate needles, and the idea of the injections is freaking me out. I'm choosing to support myself by watching this video. And then let's tap around the points. I hate needles. I hate them. I hate needles. 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 Just the idea of them freaks me out. When I think about them, it feels horrible. Just thinking about them is horrible. Just the thoughts are freaking me out. I feel freaked out by needles. Just the idea is causing me stress. Freaked out by needles. Needles freak me out. Take a deep breath. Take a 
and just tune in with how you feel. So your stress level may have just gone through the roof as you're thinking about needles. Maybe you're seeing them in your mind's eye. Maybe you're like, oh, I really don't want to do that. That's okay. What we're doing is tuning in with how you're feeling about the needles. So let's carry on. Even though the thought of doing all these shots is making me feel scared, I accept myself and these feelings. Even though the thought of doing all these shots is making me feel scared. I accept myself and my feelings. Even though the thought of doing all these shots is making me feel scared. I accept myself and my feelings. Dabbing around the points. I feel scared. I can feel it in my body. This stress in my body. Feeling scared. I can feel the fear in my body. This stress. This fear. It's safe to let this go. I am safe. I am safe right now. It's safe to release these fears. I am safe. It's safe to let this go. These fears. I'm feeling scared. But I accept myself anyway. Deep breath. So this may bring up for you a particular time in the past where you had a shot, um, it was a vaccination as a child and it was a horrible experience, or maybe it's um, later with treatment or trauma you've been through recently to do with your fertility journey where you remember those injections, you're like, oh, it was horrible. And so your body is really like putting up a resistance to that and not wanting to do it. So I want you just to picture that memory in your mind as we tap round. It's safe to let this go. It's safe to release the pain of this memory. The emotional pain. The physical pain. It's safe to release this. It's safe to let this go now. I am safe. I am safe now. Deep breath. And it might be if you've got a really strong negative memory that you need to rewind the video and keep tapping through to bring the emotional resonance down of that memory. If this is something that isn't shifting on its own, then that is why I really recommend working with a practitioner where they can guide you. You could even do um, what I would do with a client is do a hypnotherapy timeline as well, actually going back to that memory and tapping on the younger you in your subconscious mind to help clear that memory um, from the time. So just reach out if you want some information on that. The next area I want to address is when we are lining up and getting ready for treatment. The um, concern over the needles part is obviously, obviously um, or can be a really big 
thing for a lot of women. And actually, I want you to really look at, are you, does it feel like the fear of needles and the concern about doing the injections is stopping you or has been holding you back from going into treatment? Or if you have already decided to do treatment, does it feel like that is now the thing that you're like really, really focused on? You're like, oh my God, I have to do these needles. Because sometimes it can be um, that we're kind of using the needles as a scapegoat to um, all of our fears and concerns and upset comes out as upset about having to do the needles instead of actually we're upset about the whole process of IVF and having to do IVF. So yes, you can have a fear of needles. Yes, you can hate needles. Yes, you want to address that definitely but also we want to look at what is below that so for me I hated needles was really phobic of them but also I was like I shouldn't have to do something I hate inject myself with needles in order to have children like that's really not fair and so there was this whole other emotional levels behind that that was I don't want to do this I shouldn't have to do this so what I want you to do, if that's resonating, is write a letter of complaint, like right now, just grab a pen and paper and just pause the video for a few minutes. And I want you to write a letter like, dear infertility, dear IVF, dear needles, dear universe, God, whatever your belief system is. Um, this is a letter of complaint about the fact that I have to do IVF and I have to inject myself with all these needles. Yeah. And then I want you to write that letter of complaint with all the reasons why this is really shitty and you don't want to do it. And then I want you to read that letter out loud while tapping round the points. And this is going to be so, so, so powerful because it's going to be using your language, your words um, to really tap round how you're feeling about this whole process. OK, so you have a pause the video now. Go write that letter and tap or carry on tapping with me, but come back to that at the end and just tap round the points. So you can um, do that by just muting the video and watching me as I'm tapping around the points or have the little um, image, which is linked below, which you get in the Embrace Fertility, My Body Fertility app, along with the um, video that I mentioned. So you can tap along easily. OK. So let's carry on. So tap with me. Even though I hate getting shots and I really don't want to have to do this, I'm choosing to tap and calm my nervous system. Even though I hate getting shots and I really don't want to have to do this, I'm choosing to tap and calm my nervous system. Even though I hate getting shots, and I really don't want to have to do this. I'm choosing to tap and calm my nervous system. I hate getting shots. I hate it. I hate getting shots. 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 I don't want to do this. I do not want to do this. I don't want to do this. I do not want to do this. I don't want to do this. I do not want to do this. I don't want to do this. I do not want to do this. Deep breath. And that might have been really triggering that you're like, oh my God, yeah, I really don't want to do this. Oh my God. It's absolutely fine. So I let you in a little bit. Nobody wants to do IVF. Nobody wants to do it. We choose to do it because we feel that that is the next best, best step to support our dream of becoming a mother. And so you don't need to be completely on board. You don't need to be like all super excited. This is Mia. Can you get your bum out of the way, please? Kitty! 
Um, you don't have to be completely on board. You just have to be 51% on board in order to do it. And so this is the whole process of what I teach of the Embrace Fertility Method is we embrace all of it, even the things that we don't want to do. And we work through the emotions so that we have that resilience and so that we have that strength to support ourselves throughout it. So yes, if you haven't already, if that really, if that was really triggering for you, sorry, uh, then do that letter of complaint and tap round. So then you're tapping on the doing IVF rather than the needle part. Okay. Um, so let's tap again. Even though the dislike of needles may be a scapegoat for all my reservations about treatment. I love and accept myself anyway. Even though my dislike of needles may be a scapegoat for all my reservations and fears about going into treatment love and accept myself anyway even though my dislike of needles may be a scapegoat for all my other reservations and fears about going into treatment i love and accept myself anyway it's okay to feel like this it's okay it's okay I'm okay. I'm learning how to support my body. Learning how to support myself. I can do this. I can get the support I need. I'm choosing to tap to support my body. I'm choosing to support myself in this way. It's okay to be scared. I can do brave things. I might not want to do the shots. but I want to become a mother. And I'm willing to do this, to move me towards my dream. I can do brave things. And I am safe right here, right now. I can do things to make it easier. I can use numbing cream. I could use ice. I can calm my body before doing the injection. I could use pain management hypnosis techniques. I can tap right before to calm my body down. So many things I can do. I'm choosing to support myself through this. Deep breath. And just note what's coming up for you after that round. Maybe add to your letter of complaint other things that you need to tap on. So the joy of writing or journaling about your experience and then tapping through the points while reading out loud is you're really, you're then totally resonating with the words because they're your own words, your own thoughts, your own beliefs. Um, so yes, there are lots of things you can do to support yourself. Below this video, I will add um, a blog and a podcast that I've put together on physically preparing for 
fertility treatments and then emotionally preparing for fertility treatments. A big part of the work with needles, if you're still feeling, if we're feeling scared, we're in stress response. And so our body is really tense against um, like, the sensation, the pain of the needle. So this is why I mentioned the hypnosis for pain management is you can learn to take your body into deep relaxation so that you're numbing those sensations. So when we take a traditional painkiller, so say we take a paracetamol, what that is doing is blocking the signals from wherever you've got pain in your body. The pain signals go up your spine to your brain to tell you you're in pain. And you take action for that area of your body. And hypnosis can do the same. So we're actually like numbing down those signals that are going up our spine to our brain. Um, so I'll put a link for that as well. But let's now do, so well, let's tune back in with how you're feeling when you think about doing those injections, how does it feel on a scale of zero to 10 with zero being you're just like, whatever, whatever's perfectly good to go. And 10 being, I'm so absolutely petrified. If you're still absolutely petrified, definitely reach out. Um, but let's do some positive tapping. Now, hopefully you've just felt a bit of shift that maybe it went up to start with, but then it started to come down a little bit as you're feeling a little bit more in control, a little bit more like there are things I can be doing to support myself. So let's now do some positive tapping. So the tapping we've been doing has been focusing on the negative and what we want to shift. Now we're going to be focusing on the positive. So we skip the cross chop and just go straight to the point. There is so much I can do to support myself. I can be tapping and bringing down my concerns. Every time I tap, I'm soothing my body, calming my thoughts, bringing myself out of stress response. And I don't need to be 100% on board. And I can do brave things. I can support my body to do this. I can ask for help with my injections. I can ask for support through my fertility journey. I can prepare myself for doing the injections. I can use numbing cream. I could use ice. I could use Naomi's ice cream technique mentioned in the blog. I'll say that to you. So many things I can do to soothe and calm my body. I'm choosing to help my body. Deep breath. And just let your mind and body settle for a moment. Keeping your eyes closed, your hands over your heart. And I want you to just visualize 15 minutes after you've given yourself that injection or after you've had the blood draw, 15 minutes afterwards, when it's in the past, the sting has passed, if there was any. Just imagine yourself, the relief and that sense of accomplishment that you've done it. You're one step closer to your dream of becoming a mother. And you did the brave thing. You did the shot. You had the blood draw. And I want you to just tune in with the gratitude for that. And just allow it to grow. And expand throughout your body. I can do brave things.
and then just gently open your eyes and just tune in again with how that feels when you think about having that shot or that blood draw how does that feel in your body if it's not moved that much for you you might want to watch the video again and keep tapping around and I really encourage you to do that letter of complaint and then be tapping around with your own language if you'd like support to work on this topic with me, then please do reach out. If you go onto my website, onto the contact page, you can drop me a note um, and let me know how you're getting on. I would love to know what you think of this video, any improvements I could make to it, anything I could add in. How did it feel listening to um, each of the points? How did it feel tapping along? Let me know. Come and follow me on Instagram at Embrace Fertility and let me know.